Uh, okay, here what I have is uh, the tinsel coil SSTC, uh, and uh, I am running. This is the top capacity, and I've hooked a uh, an ordinary incandescent filament light bulb up there uh, to the uh, small terminal in the base. That's connected directly to the capacity. And then uh, the screw part of the bulb I've connected to a wire, which is just connected to this piece of aluminum foil here. And I just have it uh, suspended by a non-conductive plastic uh, clamp up in the air there. Okay, and uh, so now what I'm going to do is uh, trigger. I'm gonna... I've had some trouble with the triggering switches, so I've actually installed a little relay there to switch the DC power, and then my fire button triggers the relay. That way, I don't have to keep replacing so many switches because there are some uh, amps and whatnot in there. So I'm, I'm just going to be going like that. So I guess you can see that uh, right at first there's a little corona in there the, making the standard plasma bulb uh, and then the filament lights uh, rather brilliantly. Yeah. You turn out the light. Yeah. Uh, that's right. Now I've noticed that there is a little bit of, uh, you can't quite see it because of the contrast, but there's a little bit of corona coming off that aluminum foil. Uh, And the ground, the ground end of the coil is connected as usual to the uh, to the mains ground down, down in here. I'm kind of afraid to get the thing into true resonance and uh, turn it to to run it off of uh, uh, continuous rather than pulsed mode because this is uh, kind of a small bulb. What is the wattage on that bulb? Let's see. Uh, am I? Anyway, the uh, tinsel coil lights up an incandescent bulb with uh, one wire connected and the other wire connected just hanging up in the air. Thanks for watching.